Hello everybody, I'm Andrew here for the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to everyone's favourite cheap knockoff version of Hard Survive 4 A to Z by ISP. Welcome to Hard Survive 4 A to Z Kaiser Edition with me, the Denhamer. So yes, welcome once again. We're back. The second video of this in a week. Uh, I thought I'd spoil you. Today we're playing as the Alash Autonomy, soon to be the Alash Order and soon to be the Orenburg Cossack nation. Dutov is going to take control, which will happen fairly soon into the game. Um, our, our main problem with this episode is going to be Russia. Um, I'm hopefully going to get the Almighty Dawn host and Transmur to join in the fight, but we'll see how well that goes. Our first threat, however, is going to be Turkestan, which is... they're going to be interesting to deal with, that's for sure. So it's going to be a tough one today, and it's probably going to make me go insane. Ah, yes, here we are. The Alash Autonomy with our Eight divisions, we've been spoiled, are two whole civvy factories, we don't even have a military, so yep, no guns whatsoever are getting produced. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a single military factory. We have a small tree, and our main ones could be this little part, none of this is going to matter, maybe secure independence potentially, uh, because we're not going to be sticking with Russia. Why would I want to do that? Why would I remain a puppet of them? Yeah, sorry Russia, we're um, actually no we're not sorry, we're declaring full independence. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh thank heavens, we've got a military factory. But however, we are also suffering from Black Monday. Which is just fantastic. Well, we've seeked aid from the Prince of Federation, the Ottoman Empire and Persia. So our trade relations have improved and we've got civvies and military factories. Hallelujah. Well, I have to say, I, I'm not too pleased with that. Why does Kolchak always bite the bloody dust? Germany's just lost Flanders. Dun dun dun. And uh, yeah, the Turkestan Republic is here. They have 923 divisions, so we are uh, a little bit outnumbered right now. Ah, nice. Our trees bugged out a little bit. Because that should have went and been replaced by that. However... We have two, which now means I'm at a loss of 62.5%. Oh, uh, wait. What? The United Kingdom is here. Oh, they're all oh, my days. Vlasov is here. Um, I'm, I'm going to ignore them. Because um, hopefully we're about to get cooed by a certain somebody, Dutov. And out of nowhere, Ataman Dutov has taken control of the nation and will now the Orenburg Cossack host. Happy days. A nice wee flag there. We'll let this finish and then we can do... Approach the Russian Liberation Committee. Oh, yes. Oh. Transamur has agreed as well. We can now do Rely on the Cossacks as well, which is definitely something we probably want to do right now because we get divisions from doing it. So let's go ahead and do that first because I know a certain nation is eyeing us up right now. Yeah, okay. So if... Um, I don't know if it's me or if it's just the mod itself, but... Rural Economy and Black Monday don't disappear for me. They just get duplicated. Um, Because I'm, I'm still stuck with this Black Monday, even though I've finished what should have removed Black Monday. Um, oh, at least this is slightly changing it, actually. Well, that's it. We're, <laughs> we've, we've finished our tree. Um, yeah, that's, that's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I am a little bit concerned because they can just straight go for Central Asia, the Russians. There's like no big enemy they could fight beforehand. Really? You've you've got to be kidding me. Well, there goes my ally. We're actually got a war goal on uh, Turkestan now as well, which may or may not go well. They potentially have, well, they have better troops than us, but I'm hoping we can maybe encircle some of theirs. Well, things could certainly be going worse for us. Uh, we have killed 26,000 of them. Uh, they've got a few divisions. Uh, actually, no, they've not got any divisions that look like they're about to die. Uh, they still have manpower. We do actually have two more divisions in them. Um, wait, can we? Ah, no, that's fine. We're just going to hold here, and these ones can just do what they're doing. I just need to try and break through somewhere. Yeah, I was fully expecting Russia to join a third international, which is... Um, I guess both a good and a bad thing for us, because that does mean they're going to go to war with Germany, which is a win for us. Right, that's one division down, so that's probably a nice blow into their 
manpower. Uh, we'll see if we can just swoop in there potentially. Well, that's a couple more encirclements which seem to have got them in a little bit of a tizzy because they're moving all over the place. Oh my days, Russia just declared war on Turkestan. Oh ho 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 ho! Um, I've, I've won and I'm, I'm taking the land but I think we're probably dead. Oh, we can get cores. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we've we've set up defense positions. Um, I'm hoping we're going to be able to somewhat um, survive. I don't like how we're actually spaced out. Why have we just got batches of ones defending? Okay, the second Velkrieg is underway. Hopefully, Russia will get destroyed by the Germans. They've only got, they don't got to worry about the Union of Britain at all. Hopefully, Anton's going to have a good game. If we can just hold on by the skin of our teeth, we'll be fine. Uh, we might be able to hold on. The French are in the war now against the Third National, so who knows? Germany's pretty close to Moscow. Okay, Japan, Canada, Br and uh, Britain, and Germany are all giving me some more artillery pieces, but it's just not quite enough. Um, I think I should probably better off doing this. If you're wondering why I've taken some of my factories off, I'm about to lose a ton of them. Um, do I have... Uh, I do have manpower, but I don't really want... Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot to show off, actually. I've got 40 combat with. I, actually, maybe I did show that off already. But we have the chonkiest divisions man can buy, so... I'll have to hope that they can actually do the job. A couple more divisions will help that front greatly. We start to get absolutely peppered. I love how the Russians have got this many divisions on us. You know, they do have multiple other fronts to cover. They do have quite a lot of divisions, but only one million manpower in the army. So, I guess we're just going to have to hold on as best we can. We did lose Osh, and we are currently sitting at 96% of the way to the capitulation. We literally control 22% of our victory points. Two more percent lost, and we're dead. I am trying so bloody hard to hold on to this. Why do we have three divisions down here? I need them to be, you know, spaced out evenly. So it looks like Russia's actually having a little bit of a hard time. Moscow's fallen. Transmur still raging on. And wow, Mongolia and China are facing off. Why did Mongolia declare war? They are dead. Nice knowing you. Now, as tempting as it is to me, because the border is kind of open. We are not moving an inch. Oh, we might move an inch to touch tips with Transamur, though. Oh, that's a little bit risky, though. I don't want to do it. They can come to me. Yeah, I thought I thought it'd be nice to just kill off one Russian division. There we go. Result, lads. Absolute result. We've killed off one of them. Like, the coming of France just being given Karakum, because that makes sense. It would appear the Russians are coming back, but not without losing a couple more divisions, hopefully. Go on. <laughs> Get it, roundies. Oh, sweet heavens, we're scraping the barrel. Every last member of our nation shall be deployed into the army. Well, that's awkward. The Austrian faction's now at war with the Ottomans. Interesting war to have ongoing in the world, but hey-ho. Transamur, you're almost here. You're, we're almost touching tips. Can I help you? Yes. Yes, let's go. Come on. Together we can take on the world. How many divisions you got? 15 to 99. United in our goals. We shall be able to push. We can actually do a focus as well. Oh, sweet heavens. We've done it. We've, we've linked up. Yes. We have an offer to the Far Eastern government. Guarantee each other. What? What is the point in that? Okay, I, I have a little bit of explaining to do. Um, I thought it would just make an alliance. However, it did not. Uh, the United Cossack Host does a union with the Don Command Union. Um, I, I basically wanted to see what they've done. The Treaty of Almaty is basically a guarantee between the two, Transamur and myself, which we don't actually have um, in case either of us got invaded by Russia. I didn't read 
the United Cossack Host one, I just checked it so I could actually do this, just so that we both got this bonus. Or I just got this bonus, rather, against Russia, which made sense. I didn't want to annex the, <laughs> the Donkaban Host, but uh, hey-ho, here we are. I, I was going to give it back to um, the Canate, but um, I forgot what mod I was playing. Uh, you can't just, you know, give them the land back. I don't have the state transfer tool, so we're, we're just going to have to use this land as well. Add the manpower. I, I did not mean to do this, just to clarify that, I'm just an idiot. So, we, we're a little bit better off right now. To be fair, they're actually practically useless to me, because they're cut off from the capital. So, not really doing a whole lot for us. They'll, they'll stay there and defend, but that, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to use any of the factories, they can go away. Look at us go, Ukraine's killed almost half a mil. What have you been smoking? Wait, what? They just declared war on Tur- What? The war ended and Turkey's just getting straight up invaded. That's that's nice. And did I also see that Egypt's at war with the Germans? Yes, they are. What is happening? And we're actually getting into that rough area that is having zero feckin' supply. So that that's that's fun. Right, uh, we're getting a little bit stretched thin here. As much as I love working alongside you, Transamur, um, I kind of just want to focus on getting to Yekaterinburg myself. Thank you. Oh, they're running out of equipment. Will Yekaterinburg kill them? Probably not. I'm sure there's another couple of cities in here. Perm probably should fall. Uh, any other kind of big ones? Actually, possibly not. Maybe you. You are 15, yeah, you're going to have to fall. Joe, we've had a pretty good war. We've only lost 38k right now, and I've killed 308k of them. All my days, the capital's been... It's over. Surely. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! We lived! We lived to tell the tale. J just trying to figure out where best is to help the Germans, but, um... Yeah, they're, they're stacking everywhere. I might just pull out, because I'm taking a very vital supply. Yep, even when we had low supply, we're still managing to push straight on in. Germany. You lost the Suez. Oh, and we won. Hell yeah, our first actual territory that we've actually taken. Well, so from territory I got there, but it would be nice if we were actually touching, but hey ho. Wow! <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. That is a lot of French divisions. We will try and secure Bordeaux. That will be our contribution. That is gonna... Where is that? That is an encirclement and a half. Holy moly. Look at them all. France, uh, may we have military access, please? Thank you. That way we can stack every last one of yours on here and we can see the damage that is just about to be put on them. Ah, oops. The, I, I didn't mean to take I didn't mean to take Sicily. Oh no. France, France, France. Oh, we are we are racking in the kills. We're gonna have some KD at the end of this war. Oh! Nice. Greece formed the Byzantine Empire. Well, I I guess that's pretty cool. Oh, Georgian Socialist State? Oh, Stalin's gonna have to die. Damn, and here was me thinking of taking on Iran as well, but they just joined a Beratia commune. Oh, Gandhi. Hello, Gandhi. Oh. Well, that was... Yeah, I'm not shocked that's that's, that's happened. Um, what else? What do you else? Secure the South. Please do not have a war goal on me. Ah, oh, it's over. The war is over. We're at peace. Well, this is what we look like now. We gained some territory, which we just managed to actually get cores on. Some of it, anyways. Um, which is nice. And then the Russian Republic's here with Pavel Bermont Avalov. Is that not the guy you can get as the king for Poland in the vanilla game from the deal with the DLC? Um, Eastern Siberian Federation grew in size. French kingdoms here with Victoria Louise I. German Occitania has been created as well, and so has Brittany. Uh, the Swiss Confederation's back. Uh, I stupidly still have Sicily. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the land got divvied up. Norway's here in the German faction. The Entente's got Chile. Nice, the Mountain Republic is ours. Oh, that'll be because of the Byzantine Empire. Oh yes, we should probably demobilize and do all that jazz. 
simulate military occupation of the Mountain Republic. They are not getting liberated at all. We're keeping that. Oh, Stalin! You're coming after me. Wait, no. Who? Who's coming after me? <gasps> you. You dicks. Oh, no. It was Bulgaria that started the war. Damn, that's a chunky Bulgaria. Oh, I, I am not. I cannot wait to see what the <laughs> Europe's gonna be like once the Germans are finished there. Malta took two states. What the? F what? Malta's just chilling in Venice. Cool. Germany is thick. That is hideous. Ah, yes. Stalin is no more. Bring on Siberia. You going down, boy? We can make it to that impassable terrain up there by going around them. Holy moly, will we kill the entirety of them? Near enough. Well, Poland's chose death. Um, these borders are hideous. I do not like them. Why does Galicia Lodomeria exist as a tiny little donation? I don't know, but hopefully they get Poland's territory. Just casually starting off another war when I really don't need to be doing so, but let's do it. Gandhi. You have paratroopers? The Red Lions Air Corps. Oh. Japan lost to China. Oh, ideal. The war is over. It is over. Oh, another one bites the dust. Germany's just someone not to mess with. Look how many factories that... Oh my sweet heavens. Oh, and Canada's decided to intervene in 1943 in the American Civil War, which is now a two-horse race. Well, hello, Iraq. It's me. And it's actually put me at war with Hejaz, Yemen, uh, Syria and Egypt who have a whopping total of divisions. Syria actually has the most. Fabulous. Vladivostok is now the capital. Oh my days. The Entente is now at war. Really? Do you know, how did how did Egypt beat Germany earlier for the Suez when they've only got 17 divisions? I don't get that. Oh, would you look at that? The Entente just happened to land right in Egypt. Oh, that, 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 that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm liking this. It's a shame I don't have a faction to actually show off how much land I actually have. So long, Afghanistan. At least they'll be back in a few seconds. And the Transamur's coming. It's coming. This is it. This is surely it. The final knee on the coffin. Yes, it is. Happy days. We are done here. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, I'll, I'll show off what's actually currently happening. Um, Ukraine's justifying on us, so I'm pretty much dead in the next 200 days. Um, Russia's already back up to a million strong army. Germany's God knows how strong. And they own all of Europe, so I'm, I'm peacing out. <laughs> can, I, can I join you, Japan? I mean, China. God, got that wrong. Oops. So, pretty damn good game, actually. It was very enjoyable. Yes, I kind of ballsed up when I annexed the <laughs> Donkaban Union, or whatever, the, the Donk Coast, or Mighty Don Coast, or whatever it is, um, and we became the Night Cossack host, but um, thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, we finished with how many puppets? Four puppets, Persia, Hejaz, Egypt, and Afghanistan. Uh, the Suez control is also under our control as well, which is a little bit cursed. Um, the Ottoman Empire's bag, just noticed that. Um, yeah, that was good. Thoroughly enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed too, guys. And I shall be back. Um, I don't actually know when for the next episode because I'm enjoying them so much right now. It was supposed to be a, a fortnightly um, thing, but um, I guess one would be speed up a wee bit considering there's like 150 odd episodes to get through. Oh, 150. Two down. 148 to go. See when we get to the halfway point. I think I'll probably already be mad. Right, anyways, guys. Take care. Sure, bye. Bye now.